Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at an agentic rag flow and how we are going to build uh, build an AI agent that will help you perform retrieval augmented generation and also if the relevant informations are not present in the vector database, how it can also connect with the web, internet and uh, you know discover or fetches the right information for you. So we're going to just do a uh, identic rag workflow using crew AI. So crew AI is a multi-agent framework based on top of Lang chain. So they have written all the high level abstract classes for you. So you do not have to kind of create the agents from scratch. So crew AI, one of the most uh, start repositories lately on github for building AI agents. We have a lot of other frameworks, libraries, tools, whatever you call it. For example, Langgraph, Composio, you know, Crew AI is one of them, DeFi, Gumloop, so on and so forth. Using all of these, you can build AI agents. Okay. And in this video, we're going to look at Crew AI and how we are going to build an agentic rag workflow. So we are going to upload a document and we are going to ask questions and we'll see if it's able to generate answers from it. If the answers are not there, we're going to use some external APIs like Tabulai, Surper, etc. And we'll see if that can fetch the inf information from internet. Now, without we jump into the uh, this experimentation, guys, I want to introduce our Discord community of AI anytime. We are already 300 people and we have recently announced a giveaway. You can see this is how our you know, community looks like where you have like 297 members. As you can see, we already have a couple of events going on. Discord Nitro challenge. We are giving nitros uh, in giveaway and then we have our merchandise limited edition AI anytime merchandise for the community pillars. So join our discord community guys take advantages learn from these 300 people that you have exchange ideas. You can see we have different things we have uh, you know global chat we have verified chat like people who are verified they can take advantages of freelancing gigs and so on and so forth we have hackathons we have announced couple of hackathons one is bank of baroda hackathon you can see one is code cubicle hackathon at microsoft office we have some project showcase channel where we're going to showcase some projects we have help channel for data science gen ai where people help each other to learn this technology faster and then we have development and here you can see that we discuss about development things so on and so forth so join our discord we are growing fast on the discord and we have a lot waiting for you now let's jump into our code guys here so if you look at what i am doing I'm, i have installed crew ai crew ai tools and Langchain community because i'm going to use these libraries to build this workflow and i'm doing this in collab notebook feel free to do this in vs code Jupyter notebook is standalone wherever you want to do that once you install this specific version you have to restart the session after that I'm installing Langchain Grok because I'm gonna use Grok cloud you can see I have a key so Grok basically gives you free keys for now they will not give it forever okay so they have deployed on their infrastructure models like Llama 3 Mistral so on and so forth and they are doing all this marketing giving it in free because they have to raise a lot of funds and stuff so you can use it for free for your hobby projects they have something called LPU you know some uh, uh, no, not LPU, some tensor processing unit or something, excuse me, I for, or language processing unit, I forgot the exact thing, which is basically very different than the way we use GPU and stuff. So you can use Grow Cloud, okay, uh, for free. Don't use it in production, guys. I don't recommend using it in production, okay, if you're working with sensitive data. Deploy through Olama and stuff and work on that. Now, Langchain Grok, and then I have Sentence Transformer. We're going to use some embedding model over there. And th this is what the libraries that you can see. So we have chat open ai where we're gonna pass our model so chat open ai has compatibility you know with uh, i'll just get rid of this discord for now we have compatibility with different llms you know in this chat open ai class that you see and then we have pdf search tool that we are using because we're going to upload a pdf file so from crew ai tools we are importing a pdf search tool if you have a document search tool you can use doc search tool you have wave search tool you have a lot of different types of tools guys in in crew ai documentation you can find it out then i'm using tabulai search result tabulai is a fantastic platform that helps you with information discovery so you would have seen about you would have seen companies like perplexity 
okay so where you go and you know that basically helps you synthesize responses from internet so do not have to read tens and hundreds of links on google it basically asks a question it gives you a very specific answer so that's what tavilai does it provides you api to connect with web and that's what i'm using now here you can see what we are doing we have some crew things coming up crew task agent i'm going to explain that and user data because we have all our credentials uh, sitting here in the left hand side so you can see these are our credentials where i have defined i have grok api key i have tavili api key i have hf token blah 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 okay now i'm going to run this and once i run it you know you can see it will take a bit of time to run that uh, you know the library and stuff and the next thing is i am in you know just loading the environmental key you know the secrets key from the environment and you can see os.invan grok api user data.get grok api key. you can also use os.get env if you want runtime disconnected for whatever region is fine okay let's wait for that guys i'm just gonna run this here cell is already running let's see and after that we have our chat open we're passing our open ai api base where we uh, giving this endpoint for grok cloud uh, we are using open ai compatible endpoints and you can see we are using this we are using llama 3 8b this is the context window our temperature is very less and we have a very less max token so let me just run this and then i am using a rag tool so i'm creating a rag tool variable over here and if you look at this what i am doing I'm using a PDF search tool, which is from Crew AI, and inside that I am passing my document. So my document name is not Doc PDF, my name is Sporo PDF. So I have a document of Sporo PDF, and it will download anyway. So I'll just show you this PDF. You can see this is the PDF that we have, Sporo Health. We have problem, what we do, what you get with investing at Sporo, blah, blah, blah. So I have a single PDF, and I want to retrieve some information. So I'm passing that PDF. And then I have a config schema over here. In the config, I'm passing a bunch of dictionary. So L, because it's, you have to define that in this schema. Then my provider is Grok. If you do not want to use Grok, you can use Gemini models from Google. You can use uh, GPT models from OpenAI. You can use Claude from Anthropic and uh, Llama2 from HF. Now I'm doing that. I'm passing my model name. You can again set inference parameter over here. I'm not doing it. And then I have an embedder. So I have two things. I have the LLM, I have the embedder. So in the embedder, I'm writing hugging face, which is you can also do Olama, run it locally, and then open AI for uh, large or ADA, whatever. And I'm using a small BGE by Beijing AI Academy. And then I'm not specifying retrieval or title. You can do that. Now I'm just going to run this here. Let's run it. So when you run the rag tool for the first time, it might take a bit of time. It all depends on how big your document is. If you have n number of pages and there are more uh, pages in the document, it might take a lot of time. And if you are running it for the first time, it has to download the model from Hugging Face Repository, the Sentence Transformer. You can see it's downloading the BGE model, uh, you know, in this cache of this environment on Collab. And you can see it says inserting batches in chroma db so it's automatically you know by default it uses chroma db you can again have privilege to change that as well if you want to do that and you can see this is done okay now i'm asking what does sporo health do so let me just run this i'm just doing rag tool dot run and you can see it's pretty fast it says using tool search pdfs content now it gives me a relevant content sporo health problems you know doctors spend two hours per day blah 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 and you know it's kind of giving you an answer okay and now i'm going to use tavili api key so tavili as i told you that's an information discovery platform i'm only using top three documents from tavili and i'm just going to ask what does isporo health do it will give me a bunch of things you can see it's the url also gives me the url you can open this url it goes to isporohealth.com and it opens something over here that's not our concern and Sporo synopsis searching through blah 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 it has a content so these are all raw context guys now we will pass these to llms of course we will not do it agents will do it the agents that we're going to define and they're going to look at this raw context and then synthesize the response for you so it makes a very beautiful answer in the end so this is one thing and now i'm writing a router so if you look at a decorator as called decorator is my tool 
I'm defining a tool at a decorator and I'm having a function called router underscore tool and I'm passing my question and in the router I'm saying and these are not hard coded because agent will be able to understand this but there are some say sol that you are giving to an agent that why it should go to web so what we are saying if isporo health in question return vector store else return web search so very simple function you can make it a bit more comprehensive and then I have a router agent so if you look at the router agent I'm using an agent and I'm writing a role which is router and I'm giving it a goal the goal of this agent is to route user questions to a vector store or a web search so vector store which is locally of course it can be on cloud as well but in this case it's locally persistent and this environment and on web search it will go on internet and get the information I'm giving a backstory that's how crew so basically crew has a role based goal backstory there etc you can define it you can also and also talk about allow delegation you can pass one agent to the other agent and they can help each other so in backstory what I'm writing you are an expert at routing a user question to a vector store or a web search use the vector store for questions on concept related to rag you do not need to be and you look at this line you do not need to be stringent with the keywords in the question to this topic so it will not be hard coded I'm only looking at Sporo health it will make judgment on the fly and I'm saying verbose equals to true I would like to see all the logs and then I'm saying allow delegation false for this agent I don't want this to take anybody's cell because this is the first one in the workflow and then LLM equals to LLM so let me just run this here I don't know if I have ran this okay so I'll just run it I'll run this and then my next is the retriever agent so it retrieves from the vector database if you look at here very simple guys you know role retriever goal blah 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 I think I'll just make this a bit better here so let me just make a role and then I have a goal and then I have a backstory so in the backstory you can see it's pretty standard okay so I'm just gonna make this a bit organized okay and here we go and then we have verbose allow delegation and here I want to again say false because I don't want you to take anybody's help in this case and I'm just gonna run this here so let's just run it so our retriever agent is also done then we have a grader agent now this is important now because and you can let me see if that yeah I'll just make this a bit organized as well it basically finds out if there's something wrong in the retrieval because the biggest problem in rag guy is the retrieval okay retrieval uh, is not that next level or the next gen right now when it comes to it okay so you can see this is a grader one it basically grades that you are a grader assessing relevance of a retrieved document to a user question so it looks at all the retrieved chunks context and then find out they basically grade it and then here we have and this looks nice I'm just gonna just go back here and do it we have an hallucination grader that looks at hallucinations filter out hallucinations if the answer is not grounded or supported by citations and stuff so that's the one agent that you see here the next agent so it's a multi agent flow guys the next is answer grader I'll just also make this a bit and it basically filter out hallucinations from the answer so basically it filters out everything okay from there so I'll just run this and then I have a router task now in the router task what I'm doing analyze the keywords in the question I'm passing the questions and then it decides based on the keywords it decide whether it has to go to the vector store or it has to go to the web search so understand this more like a prompt classifier guys you know no rocket science even logistic regression can solve this problem but then you have to write a lot of custom code by yourself and then I have a retriever task uh, same way in the retriever task so first you define agent then you define the task so you can see I have task router retriever grader and hallucinations for all the agent that you define you have to define the tasks for them so what are the tasks that they're gonna do and then you just define the agent so I'm assigning agent for each task and you can see grader hallucinations task answer task and once you are done you're gonna define you're gonna create a flow using crew and you can see I'm defining my agents and the task and I'm call it rag crew so let me just run this and once I run it I'm asking a question does this poro streamlight patient chart review I'll change this question I'm gonna say what uh, let me see uh, tell me about 
sporo health sporo health and what and what they do i'm running this inputs and now i'm going to run this result and the result is first you define agents you create task you assign task and then you do kickoff you know that's what we are using so we are doing rack crew dot kickoff and it will take a bit of time so what i will do guys you know, probably i can show you you know everything on the fly now if i look at here uh the, the logs are going to take a few minutes because the agents are working in tandem and it will work and it will work for a few minutes so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause this video and come back once this is done so you can see the final answer here guys it says after conducting a wave search i found that isporo health is a healthcare technology company i'll make this a bit bigger so you can read it i'll get rid of this it said after conducting a wave search i found that isporo health is a healthcare technology company that provides a platform for healthcare providers to manage patient data and streamline clinical workflows they offer a range of solutions including electronic health records practice management systems and revenue cycle management tools blah 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 so this is how you can see all the logs over here and now what we can also do let's change the question a bit so i'm going to say uh does sporo health streamline patient chart reviews now i'm asking this question and i'm going 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 inside the uh, again into the agent thingy and you can see the answer so you'll see the answer should be yes it says according to sporo health website their platform is designed to streamline patient chart reviews by automating the process of collecting and organizing patient data reducing the time and effort required for healthcare providers blah 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 so tell me about the team at sporo health and let's see what it says and i'm going to go inside it and let's wait for it guys so the issues with uh multi agents or the agents are guys latency is a, a bit problem you know because then you have so many things going on if you look at multiple agents they are doing different tasks and if you have to do something in real time then probably you have to select the relevant use cases that what kind of use cases one has to solve using ai agents uh, and then you can probably do a cron job or a job scheduler if you if you want to do that and and i'll just run this here the team at sporo health is a group of dedicated professionals who are passionate this is a bit generic answer and they work together as a team to ensure that every patient receives the best possible i think they are just taking it from our web or from the document we're not talking about i think for this one i wanted it to go to website but we just took from the document there's two line uh, the same thing and i think yeah guys this is how you can you know do a uh, like create an simple agentic workflow you can imp improve this this is not the best one out there you can bring up source citations as well in this i haven't done it and let me know how do you improve this further if you have any questions uh let let me know in the comment box if you have any thoughts feedbacks do let us know in the comment box as well and if you uh want to use this code i'll give the link in description and just uh take it from github and if you have any question thoughts feedbacks you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find the information on channel banner and channel about us discord is your primary source you can join our discord community and ask any type of question that you want to ask and discuss if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe to our channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos thank you so much for watching see you in the next one